it's Alec here and today I figured I would take a what percentage of emo are you quiz. Stick around to see the results and maybe gauge how emo you are. Oh! Oh! I'm Alec from Alec is Nostalgic. And you're watching Disney Channel. Just kidding. No, you're not. And you're watching my YouTube channel. While you're here, you might as well subscribe. No, seriously, you really should. I'm new here, so every subscriber counts. And you guys are all near and dear to me. Anyways, let's get started with this here quiz thing. It's a quiz by BuzzFeed entitled what percentage of emo are you? And I really like that idea because it kind of insinuates that everybody's at least a little emo. Kind of like idea going around that like everybody's a little gay. It's sort of like that. It's going to tell us how emo we are after we answer a couple questions or something. So the first one says, you are a master of black eyeliner. I'm not going to check that one because I'm actually not good at it. I think it's beautiful and I love it and I'd like to get started. I should probably watch a couple tutorials, but I'm just really bad at it. The second one, Checkered Vans. Those used to be really popular, and I actually thought they were pretty cool. So I did have two pairs. I actually don't know if my MySpace looked like, I mean, similar effects. I didn't even know I was gay, but I didn't want people to think I was girly, which I was. So. I'm gonna go ahead and check that off because I would have made it look like that if I wasn't worried about people judging me. Okay, so I actually did really like taking the mirror selfie, but it was a different game back then with the selfies because there wasn't as many front-facing cameras now, so now you can actually reference the point that you take your camera picture. So, I mean, I'm kind of making excuses for myself, but that's probably half the reason. I was able to manage though. Oh God. Yep, that's definitely something I did. Yeah. Because I'm not really sure how to gauge that, I guess I'll just go ahead and check my closet and hear directly from the source. Pretty much all black. I definitely could have been worse with a straightener. Yeah, I was okay. I'm pretty good. Chino warning in. <laughs> True. I actually still only wear skinny jeans. I remember when I first wore skinny jeans. I believe it was like fifth grade and I came to school for the first time in my skinny jeans and literally everybody was like, I was like, yeah. I actually am. They're yeah, the skinniest jeans. Jack Skellington, The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's all very, very important. I think I can go ahead and let my shirt do the answering for this question. You used to cover your wall with posters. I mean, I still do that, yeah. I'm not currently wearing my black Converse, but I definitely have like one or two pairs of them. High top, low top. Right now I'm just wearing my 101 Dalmatian van. I love the concept of Warped Tour, but I've actually never been because I get too anxious in crowds. Um, this one is definitely not true for me. I don't always have a black hoodie on. I thought that those knee-high socks were really, really cute, but I never wore them because, again, the whole gender norm thing. There is no way I could unmemorize those lyrics. They are two of my favorites. Of course I do. I have owned a studded belt just like that one in the picture, actually. I have definitely dyed my hair many a times, my friends. Guilty as charged. I've actually never owned a pair, but I think they're really nice. I used to wear a ton of pins, but then I put them all in one backpack and then lost that backpack, so 
Now I just have my Rubik's Cube back there. The link to my Instagram is below. Make sure you check that out to see all the photos that I have that are just like that and super sad and self-deprecating. I love Pawn and Z. They're so cute. They should make more of those. That was low. Too soon. Too soon. You're right, BuzzFeed. That is my favorite, Jared. I always loved going. It was almost more like a field day, like 10 years ago. It was actually really exciting to go to the mall. Now it's just kind of a chore and it's just like, oh yay, Hot Topic's there. Let me go in there and spend the money I don't have on some graphic tee and some band stuff. So I still wear wristbands, um, black, blue, whatever, uh, but I think what the quiz is referring to are probably those like large sweatband like wristbands. I don't know why those were so popular, but I loved them too. I got like a Roxas one and like, I got so many. I got one that said, don't harsh my mellow. And I thought I was like, so edgy. You've spent most of your life assuming no one understands you. Sounds like me and sounds pretty emo. You can make damn sure I do. That's actually one of my, one of my favorite songs. Now I just have to fire up the results and see just how emo BuzzFeed thinks I am. So it looks like BuzzFeed says that I am 88% emo. It says your dark soul and love for eyeliner has somehow survived all these years. You don't try to hide who you are, but you'd no longer live the lifestyle you once did. I'm more reserved emo these days, BuzzFeed says. I will put the link to the quiz in the description below, so make sure you go ahead and check that out if you want to see how emo you are. Leave your results in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys and maybe what you think about some of these check all that apply questions thanks so much for watching super appreciate it make sure to subscribe if you haven't already be screen and next time you hear my voice i'll be coming through your radio